I'm not saying it's easy well, to be about- a general manager. I'm not. I'm not saying it's easy to be an owner of a team or, or to delegate that responsibility but no, Jay, to a general but, but manager. Jay, be, we got to be fair here, though. I, <laughs> it, he, I am a, being it fair. It is an all-star game when you start talking about selecting. You're not getting an all-star team when you own a team. No, but I do think LeBron James' ability to assess talent is a little so, bit different. So let me ask you this, though. You don't think that Michael Jordan, if the same type of uh, – um, I don't know draft selection, Dra- yeah. selection for, for the All-Star process game. from the All-Star game. You don't think MJ can pick the same All-Star? You only got 30 All-Star players to choose from. You don't think he can pick 15 top dudes out of the All-Star team? No, I'm sure he could. I'm sure. I, I don't know if he wins every single year that he does but it. But that's a, it's an All-Star game. That's why. But, but I, that was one of my data points to utilize for the argument that LeBron James is talented at assessing talent. And I'm not saying it's easy to assess talent, but key, if, if you're saying the average for assessing talent is a decent GM, the Charlotte Hornets have been exponentially below average for a long ass time, he man. Has it, he has not hit on all of his players, if any at all, in, in <laughs> Charlotte. LaMelo. More to ladder. Lame- so far, LaMelo. LaMelo. And, and, and he and got they, Gordon no, Hayward. They, they, Gordon they traded Hayward. for Gordon Hayward. Like and, I said, they're moving in the right direction. And, um, my man is up in uh, Kimball Walker. Kimball Walker. So yeah, but they didn't pay Kimball Walker. They decided not to do I that. I understand. But but was that the right move or the wrong move? That was the right move, right? That, now. That's right, all I'm saying. Was it the right move or the wrong move? Long term, right now. Yes. Right, it's the right move. Yes. So when you start to look at it, my whole point is though, as a player, it's easy for me to select guys to put around me because I'm the man. I can go get AD. But if I'm sitting back as a general manager and I'm looking, and I'm looking between. Giannis and AD and another big that got that got some stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting back. Which one of the three do I want? As a player, I know Uh-oh. he works with me better as a player. Here's where I will give LeBron James a slight edge. Michael Jordan, as he did more things, didn't spend a lot of time in the youth, right? In the youth. LeBron James, Mav, and Rich, they spend so much time in the youth about what's next. Hear me on this. I get for a it. Second. No, I, so you like, know, I get knowing it. Knowing about Imani Bates, yes. knowing about like the next top tier talent, even though he's 36 years old, he spends so much time in the trenches, allows him to better assess with the tool set around him, with the toolkit around him, to be a better evaluator of that talent because he's still in it like that. And I don't think LeBron James will not be in it like that. That look at D Wade, the way these guys are with the youth. Like it's Different that generation with MJ and those guys, it wasn't the same kind of involvement. But but my, my I understand that the AAU circuit, the high school basketball, CR came with his son. You're around all of these players. You get a chance to sniff it out. I understand that. But you're saying eventually he will be past that. Eventually he will be past that. But that's what I'm saying. That's it where will, guys can like you, Rich Paul. Can you? Can you? Okay. As much as I love Rich Paul and I love agents, I love them. I think they're great. He's not just an agent though. No, but wait, hold on, man. It's easy, Jay, to represent the top dudes. I got to find a dude over in Europe somewhere. I got to find a dude in China. Uh, I got to find a dude in Canada. I got to, uh, and then I got to compare all of these guys to against each other. It's a totally different thing than when I look in a magazine as an agent. Okay. And I know, oh, man, this is the top. This is Zion Wilson. Of course. Let me rephrase the question. Do you think LeBron James, as an owner and being involved in decisions, personnel decisions, will have the same track record as Michael Jordan with the Hornets? Or do you think it will be slightly – because the, <laughs> the floor is pretty low, Key. Let's be, I don't want you to say it that way. Uh, yeah, I'm going to answer it a certain way. Because I my, think LeBron James will be successful as an owner of any sports franchise he puts his hands on because he's driven. But to say that he's going to be more successful picking talent, that I, I can't. I'm not going to do that because for, I don't know that. For, for, let, let's part it because Michael Jordan is extremely successful, and he's extremely driven, right? All I'm saying is that the history, if you look at the data points of what's going on with the Charlotte Hornets until they started to turn the corner recently, has been pretty low key. Pretty, it's been below average. So it's, you don't have to do, from a personnel perspective, that much, that's what I'm saying, to surpass 
what the history of the data points have proven but, he, he, for the Hornets. <laughs> That's but, all I'm saying. I Does that not make try, sense? I get what you try to say, Jay, but you're talking about a current player who's on the floor who can attract people versus an owner who's picking guys. He can't. Is salary caps involved? There's all I understand sorts all that. Thing. And the city. I understand. It's oh, wait, easy. Oh. It's easy for you know me what? if I'm LeBron James to go get AD to come to LA. Speaking of the city, let's bring a guy in to this conversation from the city I played in, Dave Kaplan. Dave, you've been hearing us talk about this. What do you think? How do you think LeBron James would do as an owner compared to Michael Jordan as owner? So you're not going to like this, Jay, because you know I love you. I'm with Key on this. What, what team is LeBron getting? He getting the Memphis Grizzlies. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of factors. Gonna, obviously, there's a lot of factors. I don't know don't what team LeBron's getting. Don't try to use your Duke education oh, right now on it. us. You don't stop you it right dare. now, Dave. I, I don't know. Give, you want to? Do you want to make up a scenario of a team? Give me a team. I'm gonna sit back now, like you, Zubin. Okay, Michael. Or, excuse me, LeBron buys the. I don't know. We'll give you the Memphis Grizzlies. He buys the Minnesota Timberwolves. Are you convinced? He's going to get guys to come there because all I know is every business deal Michael Jordan makes, he makes millions, oh. millions. He's a brilliant businessman. Charlotte's just not a great market to go get players. And on Dave, top of it, I thought they did a really poor job. Stop putting your hands he up. surrounded hey, himself hey, hey. with at the start. <laughs> Dave, I, I, Thank I, you, I, Dave. Know that, I know that's hard. Oh, but, Dave, you don't, hear, you don't see my point. The, the, the data points prove – because of how bad Charlotte's been. I'm not saying it's not hard to do. I'm not saying it's not hard. It's hard to recruit or to draft incredible talent to your city, it, especially if you're in a team like Memphis. You, look what they're doing, right, with Ja Morant and Jaron Jackson. All I'm saying is that that floor is pretty low. Is it not? It is. He has okay. to have a high bar to clear LeBron. Yes. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.